Friday morning. All right, we are here with the color commentary crew, where we give you views from a different side. Of course, I am rocking my hat from better times. <laughs> I don't think we're going to lose any fans over this, Chuck. And if we did, they probably didn't need to be watching our show anyway. So anyway, it is time to talk Welcome about all. a brand new movie that we did not see in the theater. But we saw it legally because we paid for it. Netflix, the actual Netflix, not just saying Netflix because we bootlegged it. <laughs> we are talking about the grand new movie, the grand new movie, Extraction, starring Thor. This, of course, is Rashad Ooh, yeah. <laughs> and my compadre. Chuck Taylor here, guys. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to us. We'll be all in your life. Mighty Thor. <laughs> Let's talk about it. So, uh, sir, what were your feelings? on this brand new uh, Netflix movie. And maybe you can even talk about not only the movie itself, but kind of what does it mean now that we're going to start seeing more and more movies like this, in this format? Let's see. So, just to go on the movie, or just the movie or how I felt about the movie, I thought it was pretty good. Um, I thought um, Thor, what's his, what's his, what's his actual Chris Hensworth. Chris those, those that have watched that show in a while, Charlie's the, the guy that knows someone's name. Yes, unless this is Robert Downey, uh, Denzel Washington, Jamie Foxx, Will Smith. Anyways, but yeah, Thor, he, I think he did his thing. I, I, I could really see him being a good action star um, outside of the you know superhero realm. That and was he, my line. I was going to say that, sir. Hey, uh, well, I'm going first, so hey. <laughs> You lose. Anyway, so, but yeah, I thought he did his thing. Um, I really like his fight scenes. There, he was just throwing dudes and like breaking necks. And oh, this is non spoiler. Does it matter? You say he can throw people <laughs> and break people next. Yeah, I'm sorry. Right. Next people in this movie. He does fight people in this movie, just to let you know. But uh, yeah, he did a good job. Like, all the action was really cool. I, I was going, ooh, ooh, oh, Chuck. Like, you know, throughout the movie. Mm-hmm. And uh, that, that that lets you know it was a good action movie if you're saying those type of words. Um, I ended up uh, watching it. I didn't, I kind of forgot it came out. And then I, I looked on Netflix late at night and I saw it. I was like, oh, let me watch this. I went and put my headphones on. And I was sitting downstairs and just watching it at like 2 o'clock in the morning. Like, oh my God, it's off. But, um, but yeah, it was intense. Um, everything looked great. The um, had had a good, uh, I guess, a good story arc with him to kind of see him reborn a, a little bit by the end of the movie, um, having some values. Um, so I thought, I thought, oh no, it wasn't too long. It did have a couple little dead spots in it that looks like you know you probably could have sped that up with some, maybe some editing. But other than that, I enjoyed the film. It was good, a uh, good Netflix to watch. Um, and to, on the other question, it was kind of funny because it seemed like we all watched the movie together. Because like the next day, like I'm, I went to see my mom and my dad. They both watched it. I'm like, my mom and dad watched the movie. They just dropped on it. Okay, all right. What y'all? Like, yeah, we loved it. That was a good movie. Thor was doing this thing. I was like, okay. And I'm seeing everybody online. I'm friends. Like, yeah, people are like comment on it like yeah i kind of liked it it was kind of slow i didn't like it at all so it was like we all kind of went to the theater and saw it like, because we're all quarantined and there's nothing new driving right. really so <laughs> but, yeah <laughs> yeah it's um it was a new experience uh of course you know i don't know what's going on what's going to go on with movies in general down the line but at least brought a little bit of joy and happiness you know a good a good product was uh brought to us on on the television so, uh, yeah, I had a good time with it. I liked it. Good job, Thor, and uh, good job, Russo Brothers. Uh, so we know, I oh, mean, we definitely did. had to yeah, see that to do with the Russo Brothers, you know what I mean? Russo. Like, it seems like the Russo Brothers are just going through every actor <laughs> from a vision. <laughs> yeah, because they had Black Panther on his movie. Mm-hmm. It was, that was good. I don't know how 
big deal in the box. I don't think that did a big, but it was a good deal. As a matter of fact, I was going to talk about that. I was definitely thinking that 21 Bridges would have been much better if it had come out like right now. Right now, we, yeah, I think yeah. it would have done fantastically. Right now, people are like, oh, did you see, you know, what, what, uh, what, uh, Black Panther was doing? Oh, that was awesome, you know. So, yeah, um, I mean, they could still drop it. I mean, a lot of people haven't seen. They could still just drop it on Netflix and then probably have a big resurgence. But yeah. it'd be Netflix would be gaining all the profits with it. I mean, depends on how much they sell it for. That's true. That's a good point, sir. And I agree with you, Chuck, in saying that um, I was uh, happy to see uh, Thor in this way, uh, Chris Hensworth. I, for me, he is now solidified as an action hero. Like I'm ready to see him do some more things along the lines of, you know, your Arnold Schwarzenegger, your um, your rocks. Like I, I can see him now doing that type of stuff. Because before I just saw him as Thor, and even when yeah. he did. Um, Men in Black International. It's like, bro, you were just Thor. Yeah, that was just like Thor. So, yeah, it's like I don't want to see that. And he's done some other movies, but you know, I don't know who who saw those. <laughs> he had one that was like he was. Um, they had like a somebody was overthrowing America, and like we had the, all the foreign people had to get their guns and go take America back. It was like Isn't it an old movie. That's pretty old. Yeah, it was an older movie. He was like smaller in that one, like skinnier dude. Yeah, we don't care uh, about that. I watched that one. That one's not the greatest. It was okay. <laughs> he had a movie recently. I think it's on Netflix too. It's like um uh what is it called? The Writers or something? Thirteen Writers or something like that. It's like um it's in Iraq, I believe, or in, in Afghanistan. And they actually were using horses for some reason. I guess they couldn't travel on the desert using their regular machines. So uh, I'll be interested in seeing that. But anyway, yeah, I definitely this movie definitely solidified Mr. Chris Hemsworth as an action star for me. So I don't know if I'm still gonna spend money to see him in the theater, but if he puts out another Netflix movie, I'll watch it. <laughs> um, I thought this movie was pretty decent. It wasn't great, but overall it was pretty good. Um, you know, I wouldn't mind watching this again at a family get together. There was a part in there that was pretty predictable at one point. And I was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, okay, I knew that was going to happen there. And some of the pacing, I felt like a lot of the stuff was better at the beginning than at the end. Mm -hmm. That that kind of, you know, it didn't have the climax that I thought it was going to have. Although the ending itself was pretty good. And I'll talk about the mm -hmm. ending, the very end uh, in a little while. I thought that was pretty good. But overall, it's kind of reminded me of Thor, the, like the original mm -hmm. Thor movie. What I dislike about that movie is like all the good stuff happens at the very beginning. And it wasn't to that extent. I mean, it's definitely a, a much more well-balanced movie than Thor was. But still, as far as the climax is concerned, I wanted to see more at the end. You know, and I saw a lot of that good stuff at the beginning. Also, the movie was a little confusing for me for like a while. I finally, like, it just hit me like, oh, that's why this happened. But for a long time, I was like, I don't understand why this is happening. <laughs> when you on your phone, were you paying attention to the whole movie? I mean, I've been hanging around you too much. That's what's going on. Yeah. Oh, what happened? How he get there? This makes no sense. I hate this movie. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Says Chuck and Harry movie. All right, guys. It's time <laughs> for the spoiler review. So when you hear Hold the spoiler on. alert, that means either stop watching this video and come back or just stop watching. Here we go. Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Spoiler, 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 spoiler. Is he dead? Chickens ain't cheap, son. Where does that come from, people watching? All right, Chuck, what's the the spoiler review on this movie? Spoiler review. Okay, so, um, Chris Hensworth, uh, I definitely like his character. I like how he was just a, he, he definitely brings out that um, Thor, um, in game Thor, that Thor, um, at the beginning of. So we know some stuff has happened, and I guess his family must have died. You know, you kind of figure that out, you know, the way he's kind of just, like he wants to, wants to die, like he's looking for a death wish. So, you know, once he kind of goes into this, um, crazy um i guess like i don't know it didn't when i first looked at it when he first went got took the mission i 
didn't think it was that bad until you get middle, like the middle part of the movie. Because at the beginning, you think they like, oh, that was a simple mission. Why'd they say that was so like, right? Like that was like nobody would take this mission. Like this is a death wish. Right. So, so when when they kind of going back to the beginning after I watched it, I'm like, okay, well, you know, he's like, yeah, I just want to die, so I'll take whatever mission and. And I'm gonna drink myself to death, and if I die, who okay. cares? I'm broke. Uh, and chicken ain't <laughs> cheap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he did have some funny lines, little one-liners coming in there. But um, I thought it, I thought it hit pretty good. Um, once they kidnapped the boy, which to me, I mean, that boy is like, bro, do you know who your daddy is? Like, stop acting like you're a regular person. Like, uh, you stop acting like you're a regular person. They told you to go straight home, you stay with your detail, you go on out playing with your friends. Of course, he gets snatched up. As his friend want to be out there smoking how, weed. Is. How he got snatched up, that part was yes. amazing. That you got your whole life ahead of you. Bow! Shut that mug right in the head. It shut his, because his friend, they were outside smoking, they were smoking some, some reefer yeah. outside the club. I was like, I was so unexpected. That like just caught me off guard. I was like, oh man, they about to get, you know, about to go to jail right. and get in trouble. But like, no, no, this is the real trouble. You about to get taken over here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they had no Liam Neeson's coming. They was like, nah, just bring uh, Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger from uh, Predator. He, let him come, just <laughs> kill everybody. Cause that's all basically what Chris did. Just, just shoot every person and no, never miss. His one gun killed an army of people. Right. Like, his, that one soldier, I mean, that, what's bad about it, like, India. It was, a, it was in India, right? Uh, yeah. Some no, um, okay. no it, uh, it started in India, but then it went to, um, what's the name? Is it, was it Pakistan? Uh, or Bangladesh? Uh, or maybe it was Bangladesh. I think it was Bangladesh. Bangladesh, maybe. And they were trying to okay. get back. Yeah. Bruh, this one dude. Coming there, and he killed. He, how many people did he kill in this movie? It had to be like a record. He he was like John Wick almost of kills. Uh-huh. I'm like he just went through them people like it was nothing. So that part was like amazing because I'm like I don't see how he should be. Up. But he must be a badass. So hey, um, but yeah, going once that that um, the only part that I guess I really didn't necessarily care for, but it was I forgot a decent twist in the end was. The, um, the friend turning on him. Hopper. Like the, yeah, Copper. Well, the Hopper, yeah, from uh, Stranger Things. Like that part, I don't know. It just seemed like they, they didn't need to have that. They could have did something different. Because it, it like they were just sitting there talking, chatting up, and if it's, he's going to turn on them, they, they could have did it a little quicker. It just, I don't know. It just like kind of threw me off the movie a little bit. And the other thing that was confusing, this part was what confused you too. Okay, old dude that was um, pro- supposed to protect him, right? Right. Not you. Okay. Yes. So when they rescued him, not to take him to the ship, why he kill everybody? Right. <laughs> I didn't understand. Like, you know, all of a sudden, they like had- his they people him, is the same people by the end of the movie doing the same thing that they already were doing at the beginning of the movie. Right. He killed them. Yeah. And we don't know why. So that 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 whole thing messed me up. I'm like, what? Uh-huh. Is he not trying to kill the boy? Do they just not have the money to pay him, and they didn't want the boy to get killed. But hey, you know what? They're gonna kill him if we don't pay. Like if they would have made that somewhat clear. Yes, and you are exactly. So that's know. exactly what happened. That is. <laughs> that's exactly what happened. Because he said he said towards the beginning when he was talking to his wife. He's like, you know, the boy's father doesn't have the money to pay because all his assets are frozen. Mm-hmm. But I do have a, oh. but I do have a plan. Or I got a way. And, and so I remembered that. I was like, oh, that's what he's going to do. I he see. hires your boy to come out and break him out. And then he's going to go in and kill everybody and get him himself. Gotcha. But yeah, but definitely like when they when they did the exchange, when they're like, oh, mm-hmm. here's the boy now. They should have said, because he just said they were going to kill my family. Um, if I didn't get him, he should have said, I didn't have the money or he didn't have the money to, you know, to rescue him. So, you know, here's what I did. You know, I let you get him and then I was going to kill all y'all myself. Like, they should have said that so that was clear because I spent, just like you, a good portion of the movie 
I was confused because initially I thought Saji was a bad guy. Yeah, me too. He was he was badass too. He was destroying me. That that fight scene with him and and uh, Chris was nice. Mm-hmm. Like there was there was getting it. There was hitting each other with bands, <laughs> flying out of windows, shooting everybody in the face. Right. I'm like fighting like other people, and then like the car chasing. I love the cap the camera angles with the car chasing. That was good. That had me like right in the back seat of the car. I'm like, oh shoot. Looking around, like, oh, I'm in my house. But this made me feel like I'm actually there. It kind of made me feel like one of them little video game rides when you put the glasses or you sit like right under the screen. Yeah. And you just like feel everything almost. So that probably would have been pretty fun to do in a, at a theater. Like having those like on a big screen and then the sound and everything. You're just like, feel like you're going to throw up almost. Because the car's just flying everywhere. So I really enjoyed it. They did a good job with those camera angles yes. and that action scene with the car. So that was the highlight. Um, and the last thing I'll say is just the um, ending on... I was so mad. At, I, was, <laughs> I found myself just screaming at the dude. I'm like, he done try to save you like four times, little boy. Why are you running back on that damn bridge? Get over there to the big chopper. He getting shot and stuff. And then I'm like, Chris, how many people are you gonna kill? Just run, brother. Just walk the other way. <laughs> it's like you got people right there that can shoot. Like he was like, I'm gonna go kill everybody. Yeah. I'm like, and uh, Sa- what's he said? Saju was his name. The other guy. Uh huh. Yeah, he got messed up with that. <laughs> he that head shot across the across the pond. Yeah. I'm like, dang. Like, dude is like the best sniper in the world. He don't miss at all. No. Like, how far did he shoot from? <laughs> he saw from like, <laughs> it was out like it, back in his house. It was <laughs> like he shot at the house. With, remember when there was at the rich dude, the bad guy's house, the drug dealer's oh. house, and they saw the smoke like coming like miles away. Like, it was like he just went down to the like to the. Uh, to the little coffee shop down at the bottom of there and just hit out and just shot people. I'm like, mm-hmm. how far is he shooting? Yes. I'm like, this is like Hawkeye type shots. Like, you know <laughs> right. how hard that is to shoot this dude in the head that far? Yeah, aren't you supposed oh, to have like somebody, you know, win 35? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah, you you can't just shoot like that by pointing the target on the little on the little scope and think that's gonna hit something. Now that's that shot about to be like 15 feet above. You gotta shoot like down, like so. It's a whole skill with that. That's why nobody, everybody can't be snipers. <laughs> Making sure that bullet makes sure it hits the, per- the target right. I tell you what, boy, that's a, it's a whole lot better than what Chris is doing. I mean, if you could just instead of rolling up and fighting everybody and hitting them with buses and everything <laughs> in the corner, can't nobody see you. And can't like, somebody see you? Just they had no idea where it was coming from. <laughs> yeah. just, hey, what's happening? Oh my gosh! Pow! Right. Pow! Pow! I know all headshots too, so I was like, no, no body shots, no chest. Yeah, perfect. Uh-huh. I was like, dang. Like, like neck shots. Like he didn't bother shooting like the forehead. His chest. Not everybody in the neck. Yeah. <laughs> so they can like choke on their blood as they die. It's like, yeah, yeah, no like instant shot. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but yeah, that was. <laughs> I was like a little. I was a little upset by that part. Um. So I could nitpick at it, but I oh no, I felt like yeah, it was worth me watching on Netflix. I enjoyed myself, so you know, I thought oh, they did a good job with the movie. So I'll definitely watch more of the movies that they produce and bring out. Good job, Chris and Russo's. Yes, good job, Chris and Russo's. So yes, um, so some of the things I already said, like I was definitely confused. I'm glad we got that out. And uh, yeah, going back to what you said about Hopper betraying him. I, yeah. I didn't like that part for a different reason. For me, it was too obvious. Like, it's not like they had established any type of relationship with him before. Like, if we had met this guy, if he was mm-hmm. like, girl, what was her name? Uh, Nick. Um, like, for me, I thought that she might betray him because we knew her. You know, we've seen her for a minute. So it would have been a much bigger deal. Like, when Hopper showed up and he's like, oh, I'm here. And it's like, and then he betrays him. It's like, so, no. <laughs> I don't even know you, bro. Like, you know, you a say you a Soviet spy, man. You the Red Guardian in Black Widow. Like, 
You know, that didn't mean they could have done a better job with that. You know, something about their relationship. Maybe if we had seen them together, at least some pictures or something, or something that made us see that mm-hmm. they were close at one point, that would have made it a lot more devastating to see this boy that you don't know kill your best friend, you know, that was yeah. trying to quote unquote look after, after you. You know what I mean? They, they, yeah. That could have been really good, but they just wasn't. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I think they tried to make it when they were like sitting at the table talking about old stories like old chum it's like you know no, <laughs> it seemed like boys or something are like how comfortable they were with each other so I get, I see what you mean it didn't give us any background to really yeah. make us care about the relationship it's like as soon as he came back by himself like yeah he, he don't he don't he don't turn like it <laughs> immediately right there um I agree with you as far as the cinematography. Yeah, that was amazing. Like with the cameras, and I'm glad you mentioned that because I forgot about that. Like with the cameras, like a, in, like on his shoulder, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was cool. Yes, and that whole scene. That, 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 that's why I say um, kind of anticlimactic a little bit because I love my favorite scene was when he was in the um, the double decker housing unit and how he was. Mm-hmm messing up people there and it's like the camera's right on his shoulder and it's like mm-hmm. it's close combat and things like that and my favorite line in there is um, the cop goes in there and t- he tussles with the boy right and the boy mm-hmm. comes out <laughs> and the cop comes after him and he's like you son of a and he gets shot right in the face like <laughs> cause I didn't expect that like that was good mm-hmm. I wanted to see more of that at the end more of those close cor- close quarters type of combat just you know yeah. shooting people from you know 6, 10, 12 feet away is not really as exciting as you know that type of stuff you know and shooting them at 6 inches away you know I, I like that a whole lot better so I wish we could have got some more of that um, at the end um, speaking of oh and real quick Speaking of things that were like not clear, okay, um, so all the cops were bad? Like, yeah. All of them. All of the cops. <laughs> There's no good. That, the, he, the drug person run, is the president of where they're really there. Like, he is the yeah. governor, president, and then, like, he runs everything. Right. No, nobody has a morals. So it's all bad. Yeah, that was kind of. I, see, to me, they should have done a couple more things to make to make it seem like the cops were bad. Because to me, it just seemed, you couldn't tell if the cops were bad or if they were just doing their job. You know what I mean? Yeah. They were just trying to capture this boy because that's what they were told to do. And they were just getting killed. Like, like at the end, they did a job where um, they they uh, caught Saju as he was trying to smuggle the dude away. And it's like, oh, that's the boy. And it's like, okay, you can see them as kind of being bad there a little bit. But for the amount of cops that got shot in the face, <laughs> I'm telling you, when they do their funerals or their burial uh, ceremonies, man, it's gonna be a mass burial because they're gonna have to they have to dig a big plot and just drop everybody's body in there. Because Chris killed everybody in that city. I'm like, how many? He killed all the bad guys, all the all the all the cops, all the good and the bad cops. And the cops weren't even doing nothing. Like, he was just blowing them up from afar. Like, let me just blow these cops over here about. And then over here doing traffic. <laughs> like, he's like, oh, I'm going to make some distractions. Let me just blow these people up over here. Like, like yeah, we're cheering for him. Because he's, uh... Yeah. <laughs> he's like, come on. He's like, it's the first day. Y'all come on with your little carts. Oh, keep a little bit. Like, dang. Chris, you didn't have to kill everybody, I'm did you? I'm glad I'm out here. I have a way to feed my family. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, because we we as Americans are, <laughs> are, I guess, I wonder how Indian people feel about this movie. <laughs> they probably hate this movie. <laughs> They're like, no, 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 I hate this movie. Like, they killed everybody. They like, none of my people. Like all my people in my job probably like They probably would like it because it was mainly people in Bangladesh that got killed. Oh, damn. Yep, so. Yeah, they do have that association. Um, <laughs> they ain't ask people that like it. Yeah, no, they ain't gonna like it. Um, I did like some two things that happened at the end. Uh, I'm trying to remember what the, the boy's name is. It was like Pradesh or something like that. I thought that was a really good subplot that was happening throughout the movie. Like, first of all, <laughs> what the boy was like, 
I know who killed. I, I know who stole the money. Remember that? Yeah. Oh, dang that! I forgot, man. I forgot all about that. I was like, dang, this is. They just, they just throw that kid over. The- <laughs> they just throw that kid off. I was like, okay, they're not gonna throw the kid off. They're probably just gonna scare him and they teach him. Le- oh no! Oh gosh! Bro, he didn't even bother to look back. He just threw him and he, like, huh. <laughs> he turned around immediately. He's like, he was looking for the next one. I was like, bro, like, tell me who yeah, stole the horrible. money. I, I know who stole the money. Who stole the money? Sanji. Who is Sanji? But <laughs> you just threw him over. <laughs> <laughs> That oh, was crazy. God. But it was, it was cool because um, you could see him, unfortunately, turning to the dark side. You know, and it's mm-hmm. like, as a watcher, you're like, bro, what are you doing? Like, don't do this. But he was impressed by that strength. But he's like, this guy's not good for you. He's trying to tell you to cut your fingers off, bro. He just murdered your friends, but he liked that. And when Chris, you know, Chris embarrassed him. And so the fact that that was the guy that got him in the end. I was like, that was, yeah. that was beautiful. That was, and it happened. Yeah. And I like how they brought that back. I was like, I was like, somebody got to get him. And at first I was like, is the drug dude about to, the drug guy shoot on me? He didn't want to be down there actually doing his own, you know, handiwork. Right. I was like, oh, yeah. I knew that kid was going to do something. You know, mm-hmm. I saw him from the beginning. They made a big deal about him. So I was like, he going to do something. Right. And I forgot about him. That's, that's what I liked about it. Mm-hmm. Um, so that so hats off to them for that because that was an excellent side plot and then how they executed him at the end was great but also the other good part about the ending did you see the very very last scene yeah when he comes out the water mm-hmm. at the pool and then he looks over it looks like it's like a, like him standing there and ain't nobody out there right and it's fuzzy and it's yeah fuzzy. it is and then he cut it off I was like hold up is he alive he's <laughs> like dang what's going on like y'all hate y'all why'd you do that to me i was like because and it brings up that part right at the beginning when he jumps into the water he's just sitting down in the water you know meditating for like an hour <laughs> so i was like well maybe he just fell in the water and just did meditation for a little bit huh? right he slowed slowed his blood flow down <laughs> i'm aquaman i'm aquaman not thor aquaman i can breathe like, just <laughs> the mindset tell the brain it can do anything right so I really like that. Now, am I the only one? And I'm sure our, our uh, viewers did this. Some of them did. Chuck, did you did you fast forward to the very very end? Like the very very like. Oh, see the uh, the scenes. Uh, yeah. Well, I didn't fast forward. I just kind of like let it go. Okay. Because I, I was on my phones late. I was just like, let me see here with that. Let me see what happens. Because I want to know one if they're gonna make another one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. These are Russo brothers, you know. I mean, you know, they've been, they like three movies in having after credit. You know, th- this is what they gonna do. They gonna make a universe. They gonna tie uh, Black Panther's character on the next one with Chris, and they gonna have some type of city battle. He gotta like track Chris down and stop something. And they gotta go at each other. And then Iron Man's gonna show up. Right. I'm like, what's going on, guys? He's gonna be like a, He's like a lawyer. <laughs> yeah, something like that, probably. The whole Marvel Universe. Go ahead. Go ahead. Have Vision in there. He's like the chief of police. <laughs> yes. So, uh, before we go, Charlie, who's the next character? Who's the next Marvel hero that's going to get their own movie? Their own Russo Brother movie? Um, I can see. I can see Black Widow because she's not gonna be doing anything probably for a little while. She could probably do do something. They probably do something with her. They probably use a female. Robert Downey's don't cost too much. He's too mainstream. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, they could use somebody like Batista. Uh, somebody okay. like one of the second or third characters. I wonder if they would would it count if Rocket did it, but it's you know that real like his real self, not yeah, really actual Rocket right. character. Like Bradley Cooper himself, like he like he could probably do something. Mm-hmm. Uh, he ain't been on the he ain't, I haven't seen him on screen that much lately like, outside of his voice. So I would say they would do a duo next, and it'd be like uh, Sebastian Stan, mm-hmm. and uh, probably who's another character they don't use a lot in the movies? Um, Anthony Mackie. 
Okay. MD, MD Mackey is like the Netflix black guy. Like he's just Bruh, on like on five man, Netflix. You supposed to call? You supposed to pull my card on that? What? Sebastian Stan and Anthony Mackey. Oh, okay. Winter Soldier, Falcon. Right. And Falcon. Team up. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> I guess I didn't. I, I, yeah, yeah. But you know, you threw the name, the names at me. You know, I knew, I knew. Uh, My bad. I, I'm Sebastian, scared. I, you know, he got me with Sebastian. I was probably like just thinking, like, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, right. I don't know who that is. <laughs> it's under the sea, a little mermaid Sebastian. Yeah. Wow. They better straight do a movie with uh, Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> That's your next one right there. So anyway, what did you guys think? Uh, Chuck said it was a great movie. I thought it was a pretty good movie. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, you say great. I only get great to great movies. Pretty good. Oh, pretty, pretty good. good. Pretty good. Pretty I'm good. Pretty good. This movie. Uh, let me see how many Chucks can I get this movie. I'm gonna give this movie seven point nine two Chucks. That's why it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna give it an eight. So you give it the same. You thought it was pretty good. Okay. No, eight is pretty good. Uh, pretty decent. All right. All right. <laughs> we're decent with like a six. <laughs> do you agree with what we have to say about the movie? What are your thoughts on it? Hey, make sure to leave a like or a comment, leaving your thoughts here on YouTube or on Facebook or Instagram or wherever it is that you see us. Are you offended by the Obama hat? <laughs> you don't care. It was a good time. As usual, you've got to subscribe. Subscribe to survive. This is Color Commentary, where we give you views from a different side. Side, 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 side. <laughs> Underwater <laughs> doing <the> meditating. <laughs> I ain't shooting you down there like I'm gonna hit him in the morning. <laughs>